Hey, what's good, guys? This is Order of Opinion. I'm your host, Anthony. It's my whack ass co host, Tim. What's up, guys? <laughs> and today, if you're just tuning in, um, we're continuing our ranking and breakdown of the SWU, the motherfucking Star Wars universe. Um, and this is the fourth installment. Uh, check out episodes 24 through 27, including Rogue One. That's episode 24. Should I list the other ones or just fucking. Yeah. All right. Love episode well. 25 was Attack of the Clones. Episode 26 was Phantom Menace. And episode 27 was A New Hope. So check all those out. Um, see what we gave it. If you can't figure it out, it goes in order. Um, and I'm the host. So we're going off my list. And Tim will be giving his list and his score too. We're both giving it scores out of 10. Um, Olympic style with the motherfucking decimal. <laughs> um, and. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the Star Wars. If you want to check out our other episodes, 1 through 14, we did it on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Including Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange, and then um, our Harry Potter was episodes 15 through 23, including Fantastic Bestiality and <laughs> What Buttholes and Mouths to Put Your Dick Inside. And, uh, yeah, so check all those out. Um you can find our release schedule for the next episodes on Twitter and Facebook. Facebook yeah. See our descriptions below. All the bullshit is we'll there. Put the uh, flyers up. Yeah, the, the whack, whack flyers <laughs> that we try sort of hard on, I guess. And it's weird because we have, like, new computers and we're still garbage at everything to do with the computer. Yeah, but fuck computers, dude. I really am, like, a chimp when it comes to the recording <laughs> business. We don't even understand how to not sit too far away from the mic or too close to it yeah that's pretty that's pretty <laughs> fucking stupid but uh so yeah so check those out and um i think they're pretty fucking funny but that's up to you guys let us know um next up on the list for star wars universe the swu number four for me no it's number four or three four. uh number four that's right um, number four for me, and that is The Force Awakens with a 7.2. All right. That's weird because I scored it lower with the seven, but it's my third movie. <laughs> so, so does that mean that you think they're just whacker? Star Wars movies are whacker? The newer ones are for sure. Okay. Um, Except for Rogue One. That's great. The... I looked when I was trying to rank these movies together, especially since we're doing the old ones, right? Yeah. I looked at it like I can't take the good CGI and graphics <laughs> and what they can do into account Luckily. of comparing them, right? So when I look at Force Awakens to the old ones, it's so fucking formulaic oh, and just yeah. like drawn out. It's like, go you find know? this map to find this dude, which is like fucking A New Hope, essentially. It's like the video games had just as good a story. It's, yeah, essentially. And a lot of people complain about that shit with some of these like um, big franchises and shit, that sometimes their video games or their cartoons, as you can see with Avengers Assemble, with the Avengers also, sometimes the cartoon or the games are just a little bit deeper than the movies. Well, because they can afford to be. Yeah, so it makes it more interesting because you're investing in so much all the time. Look at Clone Wars. That was, what, like five seasons or something yeah. like that? They just elaborated the entire and look at Attack Clone of the Wars. Clones. That was a spike dildo in your ass. Yeah, that sucked. That was terrible. And you know who was in fucking Clone Wars? All the same fucking people as Attack of the Clones. Right? Like, it's literally the same thing but elaborated. So to that point, obviously that made the action better, This the, the spaceship fighting. You know, all the shit. If you're comparing this movie to New Hope, which it was, it was an old hope. That's what this movie was. <laughs> it was redone New Hope with a sprinkle of Phantom Menace. Just a little bit. The um, finding a new Jedi. And if you believe in a very, very conspicuous theory that Rey is um, a resurrection of Anakin, she shows a lot in this one. She also oh, shows yeah. she could be, you know... Uh, 
I'm not even going to say it. Fuck it. Never mind. Because I don't want to sound stupid if I do. <laughs> is is she Luke's offspring? I is it possible? So. I think so. I think that's what a lot of people are saying. The lightsaber. I want to believe the Anakin resurrection more to make Star Wars look even dumber. But the lightsaber called to her. Well, a lot of things called to but people. But you see, and in, you see that she does go dumb like Anakin eventually, and yeah. get hella angry. Grown she, men call little boys to them. So <laughs> you see the whole. And that's what that. happened in Star Wars. And I thought they lost the racism. No, since Disney took over, they're still a little they bit. Brought, well, they sprinkled it in. It think, wasn't like you think Disney's in the forefront. Lose racism by going to Disney, <laughs> you might gain some. I think yeah, Avengers right. gained some racism, right? So, I'm just saying. I think that this was a good move for him to sell it to Disney. He's like, you know what? They'll keep my Asian dreams alive. Who, George Lucas? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and they probably have the best barbers in the world to keep that double chin and his line, <laughs> his beard line all trimmed up. Well, it must have been the same Just... people who faded up thin. You know who George Lucas is starting to look like? Hmm. The the fish head dude. <laughs> uh, Akbar. Akbar. He's starting to look like yeah, him with his double chin. Yeah, a little chin. bit. And um, he probably shakes his head when he talks, too. Uh, with his little, like, looks like he should have been on Seinfeld haircut that he has. <laughs> Like, he just kicks it with Newman and shit. Yeah, he's Newman's uh, buddy. He makes movies. But, uh, yeah, anyways, the movie, right? So, if you believe that Ray is the Anakin resurrection, then a lot is shown here. Yeah. Because, um... It's a lot does- of convenience shown. <laughs> the Force does a lot of shit, apparently, for you. This movie's super convenient. Well, it's um, so convenient, it's like the plot is, like, you're not even guessing at some point. You're just not guessing. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, there's this chick, and then someone mentions the chick to Kylo Ren, and he's like, wait, what's her, what, what chick, what's good about that chick? So you automatically know she's important. I'm only after the map, but you need to find that map. I'm going to yeah. go jerk off for a little bit and fucking throw tantrums in your control panel. Then right? she, yeah, then she like, gets captured, and she can use the Force. How does she know about fucking Jedi mind tricks? Well, because like, we, like I've been saying, Jedis ruin other Jedis. Them mm-hmm. teaching them mm-hmm. how to be Jedi ruins them. Yeah. Jedi's just have to be like, oh, okay. Like, I know I can do this now. Yeah, but Let she's just... figured out Jedi mind tricks. Like, she yeah. figured out she could just influence someone's mind. Right? Like, how would she and know that? And then figured out from Kylo Ren that, like, he's trying to be Darth Vader. He's trying to make his head even more penisy looking, you know? <laughs> Show me again the power of the darkness. Well, she yeah. gave him the yop at the end that sort of turned him into Darth Vader. Well, that's because she wasn't scared of him anymore because he took off his fucking mask and he looked like a dweeb. <laughs> See that actor? He looked like a Muppet. Like, he's, he's dope, a... but that actor oh, looks like a God. young Snape. They like, should have just waited. He looks Just like... let him keep the mask through two movies. Why do you have to change it? Well, I know you're not trying to be exactly like the old Star Wars movies and wait, but sometimes you kind of just kill well, some of the Well, now he might suspense. have to wear the mask, right? Yeah, because he got all cut up like he a got bitch. Fucked up. It was like his yeah. throat, and neck to his face. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But it's a lightsaber. And, and he he had some form of Skywalker in him because you know he was given off rapey vibes at some point during the movie, which yeah. is apparently every Skywalker does. Well, yeah, and every and, Skywalker um, has a shitty haircut. But what I will give him for his haircut <laughs> is that uh, for some reason when he took his helmet off, his hair was perfect. Right. Like nothing had ever was on his head. But like I said. The point being of him taking off his helmet, the movie started getting borderline bad to me when two things happened. Hmm. When Leia met Han Solo. Oh, God. That romance sucked. And when he took off his mask. It just, it almost got, like, fruity. Conveniently, both sort of towards the middle end of the movie, like, just right when it starts turning. Right? To being some, like, bullshit. And I would agree with that. Both those elements sucked. Yeah. He sucked. I mean, I guess... And all the characters were sort of just thrown at us, well, in my yeah. opinion. It was like, a movie like you... They assumed you knew Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's fine. I, they did it in Rogue One, but even in Rogue One, it was a little done better to me. Yeah, just, just throwing the characters at us. Like, you show Rey bumming around. You know, she's stealing shit for moldy bread that she has to cook. You yeah, know, that's weird. A quarter portion of it, Some too. Some weird, that like, is, fucking yeah. science kit experiment bread. With some Jello, apparently, so, yeah, he sells some Jello, solid Jello that she. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is that Turkish. Delight. And they had to show how shitty her life was with her dead flower, right? Yeah, and like her waiting fucking... for her parents. Like it's like, dude, it's been done in Jurassic Park, all right? Well, she's a grown like, kid. She had like the dead flower. She can't clean. She has a doll of a fucking pi- pilot. 
she probably goes into the ta- Tatooine arcade games and just plays the the arcades by herself with no money in it. Yeah, just right. Says game over on the screen. She's one of those fucking kids. She's that just sitting there shit. staring at it because it's like TV and they don't know the difference. But my point with Ray, like you liked her, I sort of think, and like I said, I, you know, whatever, say I'm stupid or that I'm an asshole, but her fighting looks stupid. Yeah. To me, it's it just it Might doesn't look right. right. She does look sort of, but so did he. It's like who? so did fucking Finn. His lightsaber fighting was hokey. Well, that's, that's because he waddled his way all over the place. His yeah. ass was too big to fucking do anything. He did have a weird gait to him. Um, he was not athletic at all. No. And he's one of those guys. <laughs> he looked like he was running through dough the entire movie. <laughs> he's And he's one, like I said, he's one of the images of, of, of like a black guy that doesn't scare white people. Well, that's why they chose him. Yeah, because he looks like the Reading Rainbow guy. Yeah, or Muhammad The whole Ali. time. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Reading Robinson. <laughs> it's true. They were like, oh shit, is that Cassius He play? looks like the Reading Rainbow <laughs> met Muhammad Ali. And I think that's what he was looking for the whole movie was a reading rainbow. Well, he wanted um, to have that visor like that dude had in Star Trek too. <laughs> he looks like that guy. That's, that's what the he reading looks... rainbow guy. It's oh, that the same is. That's guy. right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. See, <laughs> reading rainbow. Um. But yeah. So, whatever. Fine. Let's. I'll run with it. Let's. Let's just care about this stormtrooper out of nowhere. You know. Let's Why care not? about. Let's care about this like. Half like French Montana looking guy as a pilot, <laughs> right? Was he like the weird like Italian that fucking came from outer space? He had a lot of pizzazz. I'll well, tell you what, he looked like he had a fucking meatball sandwich tatted on his back. He noticed that Finn was wearing his leather jacket. <laughs> and okay, Poe and Finn po and is Finn. a fucking Mark Twain book. Right? Poe and fucking Finn, bro. Are they like are they paddle boating on a broken fence board? Well, of course. Across the river. That's yeah. how they got back to fucking... With their That's fucking a... helmets on, because they're out in space. They're on a fucking door with, like, some, I guess, like, two fire extinguishers. <laughs> yeah, it's big, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it was all poor it, people stuff. Yeah, it was just... and it, but the t- Okay, but anyways, the characters, like, they just felt thrown at you. Ray was like, all right, I guess I'm fucking with her now. Although, what does this have to do with anything? All right, they're not going to show the bad guys that much. Like, Vader got, a, to me, a little bit more camera time in the beginning of New Hope than um, oh, yeah. Ren did. But Ren is, like, so much more of a acted presence that it's, like, you don't need too much of him because it just shows him, like, killing people. What, he's just throwing him. tantrums around. Exactly. You don't need that much of that. You don't want that much of that. Uh, and I like the ginger fucking general, the prick, the, the yeah, Hitler, the ginger Hitler. That guy's Hitler. great. He threatens to turn him into their boss. <laughs> He's like, I'll tell on you. Do you remember as the rebellion? All hail the First Order. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he was weird. Um, um, but yeah, I would agree. Like Han Solo, they were just like, care about Han Solo and Leia because yeah. you've seen the other movies. It didn't right? build anything Oh my God. Up. Every time they talked to each other, it was just terrible. Yeah, it was it bad. It was terrible. Well, she was fucking slurring her words. And some of too. his lines that they gave him were just terrible. Yeah. Like Han Solo's on, he's like, yeah, Luke, I knew him. Yeah, I knew Luke. Yeah, I knew Luke. He was a fucking... He... Let me let me bend to the side to say that to you, because I always have to fucking yeah. lean into you. He's like, yeah, all right, this is uncomfortable, but this is how I'm going to talk. Yeah. The more bug-eyed I get, the more action is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> the the yeah. worse a feeling I have about a scene, the better it's going to be. <laughs> and Chewie's still being Chewie. Chewie's a still cranky trying douche to fuck bag. people up. So yeah, they have all that, and and other than that, the 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 pacing of it, like you said, is just fucking predictable. Yeah, it's form. It's just oh god. Okay, here's the biggest thing to me. At the scene where it should be the most tension, or like at least be funny and cool, right? Where they're talking about to destroy the, the Death Star, the and we'll talk Death, about yeah, this when we get Death into the Star. plot. Oh no, no, it's but, Star Killer Planet or something. Though. Yeah, and um, it, it uh. They're talking about how they're going to get into it, right? And, of course, the Asian guy has to just be like, hmm, well, if they were taking it from the sun, there must be an oscillator fan. Yeah, and Finn's like, yeah, dude, there is. I've been, doing, work there. I've been doing math the last three hours, and I just figured that out. He's like, so um, how do we fuck with it? He's like, just shoot it, man. Just fucking shoot it. But no, it. and Han Solo, when shit's supposed to be tense, is just sort of like, 
well, dude, we know like what's going to happen. This is a Star Wars movie, so there's got to be a way to find it, right? Like, and every, and then of course, the, as more predictable, the fish man's like, oh, there's a shield generator, right? And it's Han like, Solo's like, well, dude, we blow up shields all the time, so how are we going to do that now? Let's figure it out, guys. And uh, <laughs> hey. Can't we shoot that, like, fucking pimple thing? That oscillator pimple? Yeah, you Isn't see that... the nipple of the planet? Can we just shoot that? Yeah, can't we just shoot it? And they're like, oh, yeah, we can do that. And Finn's like, yeah, man, I was fucking working sewage. I fucking had Bro, a smoke break. I take my... out the trash, and I fucking... Man, I heard them talking about building that one time, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that'll blow it up. So that's how it was. That scene where it's supposed to rally you up was more like a, hey, fuck you. You know this is a Star Wars movie, bitch. You know what's going right? to happen. You know so we're like, going to blow this shit up. We'll probably lose a handful of pilots that nobody knows about, but not the guy from Heroes. And trust me, them. there are still going to be Asian stereotypes that are fish. There are. And that dude, the other pilot is a Filipino man. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way around it. <laughs> that was what I was going to say. I was like, dude, did they really just go that far? Yeah. And the one chick, Fuck it. the old lady, or Maz, is fucking a Filipino lady. Who? Maz. Oh, yeah. Super, like, they they're, they said, fuck the slanted eyes. We're just going to make her eyes, like, like, in ca- <laughs> like concave in her eyeballs. Let's go to She had, like, no eyes, almost. And she had to have these weird glasses that made her look even more she Asian that a- made her eyes big. And she's like, oh. She I guess, and then, let's talk about that scene where she's calling Finn out. She's like, oh, you have seen the same eyes twice. You must see who that person must be. <laughs> And Finn's like, all right, bitch, go over there and eat your fucking poncet. She's like, I can tell you're a bitch and you're running So (laughs) your gay thoughts. So, uh, but I did think actually this movie was pretty action-packed. You can't hate on the action. Action's one of the best Star Wars. So that's all good. But like I said, just the pl- it, the plot is everything's predictable, and it's like there, it's all predict, and that that sucks. If maybe this was the first movie ever from Star Wars, it might be raw as fuck. But at the end of the day, it's not. That's yeah. like that's like me re- being Drake and redoing an old rap song and expecting it to have the same effect as to just being oh well, that's a repeat of that song. Well, Drake did like, do that. And yeah, he got and it called was out for it. He got called out for it though, but. It's still good, but it's just in good for that. We'll see. And me. I like, think it's like you were saying. It's like too much action because there's barely any dialogue. They don't set shit up. They're just yeah. running from place to place fighting. Or focusing on the characters. Like, yeah. I think they just sort of counted on Finn to be this corny jackass. Bro, they even and, had another monster scene. Oh God. Yeah, from the 1990s. <laughs> that 1990s monster. It wasn't great. Um, So, yeah, in my opinion, I just think that it just didn't. It just wasn't enough. It's still good. I mean, a seven point two is a recommendation. That's like go watch that shit. Yeah, I mean, know? it's 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 fun to watch. It's just like like you said, predictable. You don't really have to fucking pay attention even. Yeah. You're just like, okay, there's a giant planet that shoots, and they're gonna blow it up somehow. Yeah. And there's Jedi's. So I know that's. Wait, coming. actually, there is no Jedi's. We're just gonna talk about there being Jedi's. Some fucking mumbo Jedi. And their fucking yeah, says. And their boy molesting camps that summer camps that they had. Oh. God. Um. So, yeah, and I just, I don't know. It just was like, it was a hokey. This was extra hokey. This was super hokey. It was mumbo jumbo. <laughs> and, uh, I, and there's a lot of questions, I guess, that this movie brings up that I guess is cool because there's already dedicated Star Wars fans. So they're like, oh, what's he going to do? Is he gonna, what books is he going to read next week? <laughs> Uh, no, it's true. So and, you have to wonder where it's going. It does leave a lot of that open. It makes yeah. you pretty, I guess, sort of interested in it. Yeah. At least for as far as, what the fuck is Luke's giant head ass doing on a goddamn island? Right. That's what people really want to know. Apparently there's a fire, too. Yeah. They? Well, they found out about this fire right here. No. Uh, the fucking. Yeah. Well, apparently Mace Windu might have any illegitimate child. I think it's um, Lando. Orlando then, might, or, is it just racist? Orlando and Mace Windu were poking the same chick. I think mixed up some semens. And, I, uh, uh, my theory on that, because I've read all the internet shit that, oh, it's Lando's kid, it's yeah. Mace Windu's kid. It's like, are y'all, y'all don't think there's more than two black people in Star Wars? <laughs> but 
you would assume that because it's normally always tied in with something because this is a soap yeah, opera. Is so a... some aunt fucked some cousin, some cousin fucked yeah. some friend of that dude that fucked that father that was raped by that Jedi. No, he was And wasn't. somehow Obi-Wan touched everybody. Well, Obi-Wan uh, did touch everyone. <laughs> so did Qui-Gon. Well, Qui- he even tries Qui- to touch Rey. He's like, Rey, touch my lightsaber. Uh... And the thing too is like I didn't think she was that hot, but like as the movie progressed, she was she got hotter to me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, steadily hotter. I think she just was like the way they dirtied her up just made her unattractive to me. She's she a, was a little too manly. The problem for me. with this movie is like when you try to go into it, her run was hella over exaggerated. Yeah, we, like Finn was waddling around, but her run was just like she's like pumping her shoulders, like making sure she jiggled her head around. Well, that's, like, what I, that's what I was saying is when you go into this movie, you sort of see something ridiculous about every character. And that was like the problem with this movie. Yeah. It's like, they're like all Rent was cartoonish. a cartoonish. It was they're a cartoon. all cartoonish. Yeah. It's, well, and here's my thing. Okay. The scene where they're getting away and we will get into the story. We'll get into the story actually after, right after I say this. The scene where they're getting away in the yeah. Millennium Falcon. Okay. They just blew up a planet. Yep. And they're going after people. Yep. And they really don't give a fuck about any life. No. So two TIE fighters show up just for the droid and her, and maybe just the droid. I think at that point it was just the droid. Yeah, they didn't know about it. Two of TIE fighters and a handful of stormtroopers with two people who aren't don't have the force or don't even aren't even knowledgeable of it yet. And that's you can't kill them? Well, you can't stop them from getting away? That's where George Lucas sort of wrote it in to have any convenience whatsoever is because it's like the will of the force. It was all force. convenience. Well, it's the will of the force is convenience. It's like, it's 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 predestiny. It's, it's better than magic, for sure. Well, yeah. Because even magic, you get tired of that cop out. When you say something like the force, that's almost holy. Yeah. You know? It's like God's will. Yeah. Uh, and if you hear any, like, pipes and shit, it's, uh, apparently we live next to the Mario Brothers. <laughs> they just fucking <laughs> jump in and out of their pipes and fucking... <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> uh, so the the movie starts off with, of course, the scroll, homoerotic scroll, paragraph. Scroll, and yeah. Get through it. And honestly, I, I don't even fucking... I don't know what's worse. This or the fucking X-Men scene? Because at least X Men, uh, I don't have to yeah. read. Well, yeah, you just get to visualize how retarded it is every time when they end with that door. Yeah, like and Marvel's the easiest on us because it's just it's a flipping of comics. Yeah, and this was like the... uh, I didn't even read this one. Nope, didn't read it at all. Who cares? Refused to. I'm not, I'll just I'll just figure it out. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's a fucking Star Wars movie. What yeah. do you, what do you expect? Like, it's lasers are gonna happen. And yeah, um, it starts with the <laughs> the fucking. You have this Lord of the Rings in the tent meetup with. Um, Fat Joe's fucking retarded brother, Poe. <laughs> Fat Poe. Well, first uh, they yeah. have the people talking on the ship about that. They're like, what? oh, they have to set that up to begin with because it goes to the, the ship. The stormtroopers. Yeah, the, it yeah. goes to the ship and the guy's like, well, you know, they got fucking, there's this one guy down yeah, there. Yeah, he, he, he was red dotted on our pedophile map. Yeah, so, you know, he's on our fucking. Sexual offenders near yeah. the corner. <laughs> so we got to go down the planet. There's this other old sexual offender down there. I think he's actually at a sexual offender's camp because they're pretty strapped. Um, so we're going to have to send like 300 stormtroopers. And one and Jedi. Kylo Ren. And a Jedi. The only Sith available right The now. last Jedi. Or yeah. Sith or whatever you want to Sith, call yeah. it. Sith, yeah. He's a Sith eye. Yeah. Because he then... perfects both, doesn't he? Or, I mean, not within the movie, but I guess within the stories. Yeah. I mean... So he knew the ways of the false. He did. And, and he was... like every other Jedi that trains people, he fucking turns to the dark side. Jedi, yeah. just stop training. You're yeah. terrible coaches. You're good players. You're terrible coaches. Well, because, like, like, with Luke, it's better to have a somewhat... Well, look at Luke. Well, look, look what he looked like. He looked like he was cranked out. Yeah, most of the time. Well, because think about it. With Luke, it's better to have someone... Because you, you have to assume he's strong in the Force because of yeah. Anakin being his dad. So, like, it's better to have someone who's, like, just sort of weak as a Jedi but incredibly lucky <laughs> than it is to have someone who's really strong as a Jedi. Yeah, you gotta be lucky as fuck as a Jedi. We'll use the Force... That's not how the force works. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you're the good guy. Well, because you know? he had like, a knowledge of the living force, like Qui Gon said that Obi Wan didn't have. 
Because the living force, oh, okay. I would imagine, is just like being lucky. Going with the fucking flow. And that's Which, what Luke was all about. He's like, yeah. aunt and uncle die, I guess I'll fucking go out with this yeah. pervert. <laughs> no, he was happy his aunt and uncle died. He's like, man, I don't have to grow that shitty pot anymore. Which is like the I opposite. Get to, I get to get raped by Uncle Ben. <laughs> Which is like the opposite in this story, because... I mean, as much as it is like the first one, it, the, the character's motives are different. One isn't trying to leave, and one's trying to run away. Yeah. So I think yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think Finn was sort of that Han Solo like pull back from the Star Wars shit. Yeah, like, he was like still Han cool. Solo was in the old ones. Finn was the one that was like, "What am I doing here? What is going on? All this shit's crazy to me." Like, He's, I'm just a bad guy. Um, that's when you go to this murder scene next, <laughs> right? Straight. As Poe gets his his fucking. For the fourth time in Star Wars movies, the the exp- the very 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 important flash drive on a very important droid, <laughs> and he puts it in a droid. Of course, a fucking yo-yo droid. A yo-yo, BB-4, which I, is like, actually a real droid, though. I don't think they use CGI a lot on this. Uh, maybe I don't know no, or care because they make a small. Well, they make the that little toys. Perfectly. Yeah, yeah. So, so probably. I'm happy you're right. about this. Finally, like cut back on the CGI. Yeah. Like I feel like. Um, on this one especially, the CGI was kept strictly for, like, that one weird guy selling the shit muffins and for ships. Yeah. Other than, oh, and port, Maz. Port shit. They needed to see... They couldn't just get a little Filipino lady. They had to make... <laughs> like, they had to CGI Maz. Well, Yoda was a puppet. So that's how they thought about Filipino... Old Filipino men. Shriveled men. They'll just use a puppet, not an actual man, and paint him green. But, uh... Yes... <laughs> So uh, he he they, so he gets the flash drive from the pedophile, right? The pedophile guy, whatever. He, he was fucking freaking. It's out. like I've seen evil before, not this time. And uh, <laughs> here's all my porn. And of course, <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's all my porn on this flash drive. It's very important. Me and Luke shared this for years and years before we started getting into boys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. Of course, the predictable. He puts it in BB-8's butt, and he tells him to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> and he He's does like, it. <laughs> it. It's like, bro, what do you... Okay, I get that your ship got shot, right? I get that. It's on fire. It's on fire. But what makes you think that you shouldn't just, like, go with your droid? And besides standing back and, like, shooting three stormtroopers and getting caught trying up. trying to help people, I guess? They didn't... It was over. Oh, yeah. It You're not like going to help over. them. Well, he sniped, like, the dude that was next to Finn. And that's yeah, he got, but there was, like, a hundred stormtroopers. Like, I get that he's raw enough to take off <laughs> ten slaves, whatever those things were. Were they slaves? Slave troopers. They were slave troopers, right? Yeah. Because um, that ginger, he knows how to make soldiers, I'll tell you yeah, what. Yeah, from birth. Uh, and, we uh, trained them from birth. <laughs> and uh, he blasts those guys. But it's like, bro, you just exposed yourself, and now you're getting caught up. You are m- just as important as the droid. No, it. he gets caught up because he tries to shoot Kylo Ren like yeah, an idiot. Yeah, He could have just... You see this dude that's like... Uh, you don't see him. He's black. He's all black, right? Looks like a... He looks worse than any Stormtrooper, clearly, because he has a glittery fucking robe. Right. right. And he's got a saber that you've probably never seen in your life unless you heard shit about people with sabers who you know would be Jedi or Sith. Yeah. And he's force choking motherfuckers. And you're going to go up to the... That's the first dude you try and kill? Well, like, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I mean, he not wouldn't know dude, about but... the force, though. Like, I I assume he did not predict that he was going to stop the laser midair. No, I know. I'm just saying, like, I just he just exposed himself. I didn't yeah, get it. He should have fucking laid the fuck low because Kylo Ren's scary as shit. <laughs> what I do like about this scene is the cut between um, fucking Poe and Finn. When they go from Poe sh- sniping the last Norm Trooper that he shoots to Finn, like, starting to freak out about everybody dying and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, and that shit was corny. Oh, well, yeah. When his friend died, he's like, oh, I'm going to touch you, my fucking... Even though I'm not bleeding, clearly. Was that even But his... I'm bleeding on my hands. Was that even his friend? I don't know. Probably yeah, not. He probably didn't talk no, to each other. No, that was his slave buddy. <laughs> um, And, yeah, and then he, he just, like... First off, Kyle Ren just, like, when he first shows up, sees the pedophile dude, and he's like, man, that's the last time you touch my ass. I'll tell you what. Look how old you got, you old fuck. And he sliced that motherfucker up. Yeah, he was like, and, dude, I remember you touched my pee-pee <sighs> once. I'm back for revenge. 
And uh, I sort of, I liked his voice and shit, like that distorted voice. I know you can do that easily on GarageBand, just by oh, how old have you gotten, you cunt? Well, yeah, he was Bane essentially, but yeah. with like an electronic additive to it. Um, and these aren't Polynesian clones anymore. No, these are actual slave people, which is worse. The slave people, probably. clearly, yeah. Um, and what's more ineffective? People, probably. People, yeah, well, see. because one, all it takes is one, one dude, to blow yeah. your entire one planet up. One dude with faith in himself because he reads over rainbows. <laughs> one dude. And uh, so, yeah. Um, and he, I think he's a little, at this point, he's a little bit more sinister than Vader. I mean, when you watch the old ones, Vader is like, he's yeah, he's... You could tell he's he's hard. He's dope. Yeah. But at the same time, he's sort of like this pricky and he politician. Doesn't do much. Like he whines, and you know. And Kylo Ren is just you. Just, you can just tell this motherfucker's. He's something is carrying on why he's doing this. Yeah, he's just down know? to kill. Yeah. Because he kills the dude and immediately walks away and he's like, "All right, kill like these forty people right here, please." Right. Kill them all. Yeah. He's Hitler. Yeah. He's a tall Hitler with nice hair. Well, no, hair. the ginger's Hitler. Well, the ginger's Hitler. So what is he like? Stalin. Oh, okay. Well, Stalin's cool, too. <laughs> no, I don't think he gives a fuck, because I don't think he gives a fuck about even really killing everybody. No, he, he just, just wants just to kill Luke. To him. He just wants to kill Luke. He's just like, kill all the villagers. I don't give a shit. No, he just wants to be the number one Jedi. Yeah. And he's like... He wants to be the number one stunner. And then, and then I guess he sort of, like, sees that fucking what's-his-face doesn't shoot. He's like, oh, that Stormtrooper's a bitch. <laughs> That's all he kind of does. I looks at him like, dude, try me. And then when you're looking at it, too, what a weird scene, because it's just, like, two helmets looking at each other. Right. (laughs) Somehow they made that work, I guess. Right. And then you see the 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 BB-4 flying, oh, what's the ultimate what? Oh, I was going to say the ultimate sand person. Oh, that shit's dope. We don't even need. The dude coming out of the ground. I was going to say, let's speak on him stopping the blaster. Oh, yeah. That was dope. That shit was cool. That was a cool scene. And he also used that to hit the silo or whatever to freak Finn the fuck out. Right? That's what I think really freaked Finn out. Finn was like, oh, fuck. I'm not. This ain't worth the free food no more, man. Well, Finn's like, I'm going to be a Jedi. I'll take Luke's path and just volunteer myself. Yeah, we'll just use the force. Like, I feel it rumbling. (laughs) But yeah, BB 8 rolls off and you see the ultimate sand first. Because it's just like a little fucking bar with eyes on it. Just lives in the sand. Lives in the sand. And then you Uh, meet the ultimate sand scavenger. Yeah. Yeah, Ray. She's just bumming around, stealing shit. (laughs) Stealing shit for moldy bread. That's kind of fucked up, but that's Star Wars for you. And like I said, she has all these, like, picturesque, like, shitty parts about her life. Oh, I'm going to sit in the sand and, like, eat this moldy bread, and I look like shit. She like, does live in the at I have a dead flower. I've li- yeah, I live in an at And like, I, I'm wearing this rebel helmet. Like, uh, bitch, how hard is it for everybody else out there? Don't make it a fucking song. It looks story, fucking hard because you know? they all fucking waddle, too. They're all walking hella slow in her hometown. So she steals some shit, and they have a nice, like, I guess peaceful scene. This is where the movie's, like, starting to get boring as fuck. Yeah, and, and she, uh, go def- she defends. He's like, one quarter portion. Yeah, that guy and sucks. My dick sucks. <laughs> She's like, sure, I'll do it. And um, then she defends BB from yeah. a, a little Turk or something like that. How young is she, though? I don't know, like 18. Okay. All right. And she apparently can build shit, and she's a pilot. Hmm. I wonder what that is. It's probably Luke's uh, hand-me-down jeans. Some sort of semen. Yeah. Some she's sort a, of Skywalker sky semen, walker either Sky story. or Walker or Solo. What if? What if, though, <laughs> Finn is Skywalker's son? <laughs> what if that's the real meaning of a Skywalker no. story? What if Leia had an affair with Lando? <laughs> that's what. Which you could see, they did divorce. They did that's divorce. True. That's what I'm saying. What if he's the Skywalker in the story? It's not. And even she about probably Rey. had at least like two abortions and Jesus a miscarriage. Christ. Yeah, probably space man. Many chlorians you can't handle kids like that all the time, man. Well, uh, she got... Especially because she was a whore. She was getting around. She tried to fuck her own brother and was still, like, trying to fuck Han Solo at the same time. She Ooh. wanted the Golden Gate in the 70s. She did. And I know we're talking about that, and the actor is dead. The actress is dead, so it sounds care. bad. But we're talking about the movie. Yeah, I don't We're care. talking about the movie, the she's, character. Who cares if she's dead? I don't... She did ruin this movie for me. She but, did uh, ruin this movie with her fucking slurred-ass fucking alcoholic acting and shit. 
And Han Solo's like, man, if we just get one more hit, if we can get yeah. drunk and fuck on stage like we did like before, man, it's so much better. It's like, I know I crashed that plane that one time when I was super drunk, and I know you probably crashed a car one time or two. Let's get together and fucking make She's something. like, you're wearing that same jacket? He's like, yeah, I kept that same used condom in 20 years. He's like, I still have that needle. That's why leaves. he really left. She fucked Lando. Yeah. That's what it was. Exactly. They were pissed off about Ben, their son Ben. Ben, Poe, and Finn. Mark Twain story, man. <laughs> ben. And, uh, His name's not she Ben, fucked her- is it? Is it? It was Ben. He oh. called him Ben. Maybe he did He's like, him. Ben, Maybe he don't didn't. kill me. Maybe. That's the point of the movie. Hey, Ben. Kylo Ben. <laughs> I thought it was Ben. I thought his name was Ben. I I don't fucking... Like I said, also, to let you guys know, this is... We're going over the movies. Not the books. Any info off anything. We're just developing what we're getting from the movies. Yep. Like, I... We're not smart enough or care enough to go look up other shit. (laughs) And if we do look up other shit, we'll probably mention it and call ourselves out. That is completely true. Uh, But, uh, yeah, so... So we see her. She has, like, this weird Mortal Kombat weapon. Um, and BB-4 is, like, I don't know what the hell they're doing to him with this weird Middle Eastern, like... Yeah, he's, like, getting captured like, by a creature. He's like... That's just Tito. And she tries to kick him out. And then I guess she's just sort of like, all right, come scavenge with me for a little <laughs> bit, I guess. And I'm bored as fuck at this point. Like, I'm getting really bored. She can apparently speak robot and hut niece and... Yeah. Fucking Slovakian. And then I guess you see Poe being interrogated with the Force. Yeah, well, Ren makes him shit his pants. Yeah. He was like, oh, thanks, bro. I was constipated anyways. And Ren's like, you son of a bitch. That's true. (laughs) And then it goes... That's kind of how Poe's attitude was, though. That's He was sort of like a dick. Like He's like, oh, you you talk or we gotta talk, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. He was sort of being... He's like, it's not gonna work. I want a business card at my papa's place. It's called Gianni's. Are they, they're, nice not the Rebel, over there. they're not the Rebel Alliance. What the fuck are they? The Resistance. Resistance. Yeah. Like, the Resistance so the Resistance versus you. the First Order instead of the Rebellion versus the Empire. Just think about that. Yeah, it's just more... With the same people, the same fucking machines, just blacker and dirtier and more advanced. Well, that's essentially and, the difference between World War One and World War II. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're blacker and dirtier in this one, though. And no, that's not even the like... Machines. The, mach- the machines. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the machines. The machines. The uh, machines. <laughs> and we actually have to say that because there is a black person in Star Wars. Yeah, but he's there's been black people in Star Wars. There's not I, only but three this is, of them. I th- always thought Lando was like... I didn't know he was full black. Oh, yeah. That dude. But, he's uh, just... Um, <laughs> he's, he's, uh, yeah. he's a smooth-ass Okay, we have too. a nice guy. Not a like a scumbag. Drug dealer. That's what Lando was. He He's was. He was like, yo, I'm trying to get rid of these dilithium crystals or something <laughs> like that, man. I don't fucking... All I know is how much they work, man. Yeah. <laughs> so they get uh, the info out of him, and they're like, oh, it's on the planet. Let's go to the planet then. Right? No, at first she's like, get the... F- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And then she goes and fucking is yeah, about to sell. Taking her droid out in public. Which will, is a common theme. Well, I think she movie. was just trying to get rid of it. Yeah. She was about to take all that moldy bread. She was like, he's like 60 portions. She's like, I'll eat for days. It. Yeah. <laughs> She's sort of like, oh my God. That's so much food. What is Because that? my family's going to come one day. One day they'll come back. Yeah, and the one, the oh, dude that God. works there is like, bitch, you need to shut up. Uh, yeah, it's like Fern Gully had a better fucking story than yeah, this. Yeah, Fern Gully was a great fucking, and well, so was Poon Gully. You had a better story. You could read your mind. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so this, essentially this is what I didn't get either, right? So she tried to sell the shit or whatever, and he offered for the droid, and she was like, actually, the droid's unsellable because I'm secretly a Jedi. <laughs> yeah. Because right? I can know that. I have that much intuition. I know what's going on. <laughs> um, even though I'll make stupid decisions later, but, you know. And she gets – she dips off with him, right? And then the dude calls in his troops or whatever to get him. He calls him. in a hit. It's like, why not just do that right then and there and not offer her the money well, or the moldy bread, I whatever, how he, valuable that is. Because think about it. Like, I guess they show when her little fucking LSD flashback that he was there to get her when she was first dropped off, right? 
I don't know. I think that was who that was supposed to be. So maybe he just sort of feels for her, but then in reality, he's like, no, I want that fucking droid. Well, she apparently didn't feel for her at all because he left her as a fucking scoundrel. Well, yeah, they're all scavengers, though. Apparently, there was some fat battle that happened there, and they're still I'm surprised she's not his slave. Well, you know who'd love it there? Would be Luke, so you could get some power converters. Uh, (laughs) Scavenging for converters. Jukaba? Jaku? 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 Yeah, it sounds like um, a goddamn Aladdin character. <laughs> Jaku! And, uh, yeah, at this time, at this point, that's when, um, that's when Pogus. Finn has his epiphany. And he's, he's you know, he's over the rainbow now. So he's like, I gotta get him out. I gotta help Poe, man. Oh, you mean Finn? Ha- yeah, Finn yeah. has to get Poe out. So they become. So they this do is go- how you're saying that. Finn and Poe. And, Finn and d- Poe. tell me it doesn't feel like Mark Twain they is fucking on a writing grand this ad- as yeah, they talk. They go on a grand adventure. <laughs> And apparently, Tie Fighters are dual seated now. I th- I don't know. Maybe they always were. I don't think they were. The toy never implied that you can only yeah. get one stupid stormtrooper in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. I don't. I never. Apparently, they're dual seated now. Well, even though you shoot from the front, you sit facing backwards, and they just have a heads up display. Yeah. I guess that's sort of cool. I I mean I sort of like this scene too because like the Tie Fighter was stuck. Yeah. And it was it was funny at the same time, but again, I felt like that's what I'm saying. It's Phantom just... Menace. Is that not? Like yeah, that's some a reminiscent shit. Yeah. of fam, Phantom Minute. No, just Anakin. Like oh yeah, escaping the ship, like not knowing what the fuck to do. Well, that Felt was a little Phantom Menace. And that was funny too, because he's like, dude, he's like, I'm here to save you, blah blah blah. And he's like, are you with the resistance? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he's like, wait, you need a pilot. He's like, yeah, I fucking need a pilot. Let's get the fuck out of here. That fool's just cla- they 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 brought back a little bit of humor. Some of it was misplaced. Like when yeah. he's talking to Kylo at the beginning, he's like, "Who's gonna talk to me?" Yeah. That's like an Avengers joke, right? It just didn't feel right in Star Wars. Yeah. So, but the scumbag. And some of the jokes even sucked. Yeah, but the scumbaggery of Finn, like only trying to escape it the entire story, is sort of what made it classic Star Wars. Kinda, Everyone wanted yeah. to help, and this fool's like, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm scared. These motherfuckers are Nazis. Yeah. Like, do you guys realize that I was a Nazi? <laughs> get me the true. fuck out. I was a black Nazi. This sucks. He's like, I think I might have <laughs> killed someone. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, he doesn't Yeah, he doesn't know what's going on because he fucking he waddles around. Yeah. And when they're in the yeah. ship, he's like... He's like, he doesn't know what the fuck to do. And the dude's explaining the guns to him. He's, he even asked me, have you ever shot a blaster before? And he's like, yeah. He's like, all right, it's pretty much the same thing. Except for there's like four buttons over here, a joystick over here, a joystick over here. And he's looking at it like, what the fuck did I get myself into? Well, yeah, because he, he never played video games. He well, <laughs> he never flew a TIE fighter either. Um, did he literally just do trash? Was that I don't know. His, oh, was that just his thing? I, I, apparently, I think so, that I think they insinuated that that was his first time in battle. So why was he in combat? If you I think that was his first time. Yeah, I get that, but why? I don't he know. She probably trash. was like, maybe like he was doing some athletic shit. Was he one of the dudes that used to wear those penis helmets and the gray suits? Probably. Yeah. No, he's not that good with computers. He was washing all the fucking the Polynesian shit off his fucking face. They don't use them no more. Oh yeah, there was no more. No clone oh, army. I can't say that anymore. Yeah. You're uh, sad about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they fucking escape. And no, they're well, they're about to escape. Yeah, and they and shoot up the fucking leader box or the fucking sky box that they had full of fucking rich people. Well, yeah, well they send these like semen things to track them. Oh, that's right. Like, what the hell were those things? They were semens. They were flying semens. <laughs> they were. They, apparently, you can shoot them and they blow up. They that's, track you too. Yeah, and. uh... The the lesbian um, stormtrooper, whatever her name was, the main leader. That I don't sucked. remember her name. Yeah, um, Fatima, I think, or something like that. She's like one of those ladies on the cooking on uh, the Food Channel <laughs> that are like chefs that are just like assholes. <laughs> the chef ladies are just bitches to everybody. Like fucking. Uh, well, Gordon Ramsay's not a lazy, but. Yeah, but what's that one chick's sort of... name with the crazy hair? Yeah, her. Yeah, she's a that bitch is her. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and he, so they, they crash apparently. Right. And that's when Kyle Ren calls out, uh, the ginger. He's like, dude, what the fuck? You lost a droid twice. And now this dude got off Poe. Yeah. Poe and Finn got off. And the one dude's like, dude, why didn't you just do it? (laughs) 
Well, he doesn't actually say that, but he gives him that look like, dude, I was fucking... I'm, Because tr-. eventually he sort of starts raining on Kylo's parade. He's like, bro, you're fucking up now. Yeah, you already know what's going on. Yeah. And even Kylo knows, like, because he called out the number of Finn. He's yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you mean that stormtrooper? Yeah, that guy was a jackass. He's like, you wait. You should handle him, you fucking ginger That's what fuck. I'm saying. He, like, the gives him this look like, wait, you knew who it was? Like, what the fuck? He's like, don't make me take off your mask and make embarrass you in front of everybody. Because yeah. everyone knows you look like a queer. You're like a 21-year-old little bitch. You just sound like an 80-year-old man. Don't get it twisted, bro. And he's like, my, my, they were from birth. They were born. And he's like, maybe I should have stuck to those Polynesians, you son of a bitch. And he's like, I still snuck it in there. And the guy was like, man, like... There since birth, they can handle anything, <laughs> anything. And you're like, all right, dude. Apparently, you're the greatest soldier maker ever. This is where it starts. And he choppy. tells him to get the map. Yeah. That is okay. Oh God, how does that make sense? You are the the Sith. What else are you doing when your whole purpose is to get Luke Skywalker? Well, That's your the purpose. Sith? You're He's like Knights of Ren. What? <laughs> whatever the fuck he is, right? He's. He is the one that's supposed to do that. Because what I mean, what Maybe. else are they doing? I don't they, know. Apparently, they already have the army handled, and he doesn't handle army shit. He doesn't do. He just shit. takes his own SWAT team to like fuck around, like you know sort what I mean. Sort of, yeah. He just has a just giant to go on his chick. little like murdering parties. Like Which, he's like fuck it. I mean, like, I guess he went after the droid once, and then after that, he's like, ugh, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> He's like, fuck that. Yeah, he doesn't get because he's a fucking Jedi. They he's don't like, give a I'm fuck go about cry anything. Cry about Darth Vader. <laughs> What the fuck was that? This is where it starts getting choppy, <laughs> yeah, too. That's what I don't choppy. like about the way they did this one is because it has to keep cutting in between yeah. Kylo and Ren. They give him too much story at the like in random parts. It's like, just leave him alone. Focus on the characters. Yeah. So they keep cutting back to these stupid fucking discussions. They do it and again you just, and then, Well, they crash, right? Yeah. And Poe just disappears in midair, apparently. Yeah, but leaves his is jacket it? behind. Yeah. And then the fucking... And, of course, Finn steals it. Yeah. He's well, he like, looks- oh, dude, jacket? Cool, man. I'm tired of this fucking Under Armour we got to wear under the fucking Stormtrooper. Well, yeah, he took his storm- my balls. He literally took his Stormtrooper armor off and became a goddamn jazz singer. <laughs> it just went through the NFL combine. Yeah. <laughs> and he, like, he, <clears throat> what I didn't understand is, like, first off, he's waddling around, so that's probably making him super dehydrated. Right? No. And then the land of convenience happens, right? Oh, he, yeah. He... Appears when uh, Ray is selling, was about was a, to sell was the drug. About to get robbed. And he drinks some fucking animal Animal water. jizz water, which looked, uh, he like almost threw up. Yeah, he looked at it, he was like, oh, it. fuck it. Mm. And then he and, goes and he sees her getting her ass kicked and then start defending herself. And it's like he can't handle it. He's like, I was going to go save her, but oh. Oh, she's raw as fuck. I guess what the not. fuck? Yeah. What is that weapon? I want one of those. He's like, I want and, a stick. And like I said, like he's just waddling around in her over-exaggerated run. It just looks stupid to me. It looks cartoonish. Yeah. BB says and, something to him, and he's like, oh, fuck, i got to get the fuck out. What did that droid say? Right? Well, because he sees his jacket. And BB-4 is right. like, yo, what the fuck? Well, no, he doesn't know what the fuck it and, said about and him. And Ray, being the kind of person she is, just, like, threatens him. Maybe she's like, a child. She just chases him. She's like, oh, this droid said that that was his owner's jacket. I'm not going to ever assume that more than one could have ever been made, and I'm going to chase this random guy down and right? beat him up. <laughs> yeah, she clubbed him. Finn sucks. Maybe he's just good with a blaster because when he's flying and shooting and shit, he's raw. But when yeah. he goes to hand-to-hand, he sucks. He's terrible well, because he's fucking, he's got too big of an ass. <laughs> he can't counterbalance yeah. himself. <laughs> um. And he he says some shit like she's like oh are you with the resistance he's like oh this is what we look like some of us others look different meaning like I'm black and like there is no other black ones because they don't exist in Star Wars yeah so it's just me but uh, yeah so uh, what do we got to do next and she's like well he's like he's got a map to Skywalker and he's like I thought Skywalker was a legend yeah and she's like well I thought he was a crankhead even though it's only been like twenty years. Like, no one... Really I mean, I guess that's a legend. And she's always, always in awe because she's a poor fucking fuck in the sand. She's like, oh, you're a resistance no, fighter? Resistance? Oh. Oh. Wait, Luke Skywalker? Wait, you're Han Solo, the smuggler? Like, that just loosened up a little bit of a... We gravel. worshipped you in Mexico. <laughs> like, they do all the drug dealers. But, yeah, so... Um, 
stormtroopers go after them. Two TIE fighters go after them. This is the most cartoonish fucking scene of the movie. Well, no. So terrible to me. The most cartoonish part of no, the No, just scene. how they get away. Well, Not yeah. that the action's terrible. It's actually kind of stupid because they're just running around and you just see it's why just Finn is so unathletic. She's faster than him. I think so. But what and was more cartoonish <laughs> to me is when they're running towards the one ship and it just gets blown up. And they have to be like, oh, well, we might as well use the Millennium Ooh. Falcon. And they get away in the Millennium Falcon. The guy's like, that's mine. Yeah. I want to give you 120 portions for it. He's like, I only got like 400 portions. What do you want from me? <laughs> it's all the moldy bread I could afford. And then they just fucking and- like... They, they, there's like, it's just this whole fucking flying scene, which mind you, was yeah. fucking raw. Raw. It was sick. She's But flying. like I said, I can't give it that much credit because it's, I can't compare it like that to the older movies. Yeah, but even. So to me, it's as good as it should be now. Yeah, but so, they could have done that with the older movies. It wouldn't have looked as good, but just the excitement of the flying. Because what was the flying? And it showed how raw movies? she really is. Yeah. And how raw he was. Yeah. Because, yeah. well, I mean, he had to figure out how to use a gun he's never used before on ain't like, well, to them would be a like. A lot of people do that, though, on the Millennium Falcon, apparently. Well, yeah. Did I say that right? Millennium Falcon. Jesus. Millennium Falcon. <laughs> no, yeah, and then it just fucking, again, guess what? They're going to fucking sh- shoot hella times. Yeah. Miss hella times. Finally hit one dude. Yeah, shoot a normal hella Star times. Wars scene, but Miss that move times. she did was dope. Well, this is what I'm saying. They get to that part where they have to shoot the last dude. At least they added, like, a flourish to it. Yeah. With the fucking, that, whatever the fuck that was, she, like, cut her engines and fell. Yeah. That was sick. Yeah, and he, yeah, and he got the shot of his life. A wide-open three-pointer, essentially. Right? She gave him the assist of the century. He even <laughs> yeah. says it. Yeah. And uh, I sort of like his character, because, like, you fall, you, the one you associate with is Finn. Yeah. You know, Ray's, like, whatever. Like, she's the fantasy part. Finn's the relatable douchebag. Well, Finn's and he's awesome. a jackass. Yeah, he's a jackass. He's an idiot, too. On well, top yeah, they show that in the next yeah. fucking scene. Uh, um, or not the next... Well, because the next scene is fucking... They have to cut away again. Right. Fucking. Well, to Kyle Ren's fucking tantrum. Yeah. One of, ta- one of three tantrums. One of, like... And it's so funny because the movie makes fun of it. When he even gets into one of his tantrums, the stormtroopers are walking by one time. They're like, huh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, that dude's he, a fucking psycho. Even that one yeah. dude looked at him like, bro, are you done attacking a control panel? Can you, like, go smoke Like, do you some... feel good about yourself, yeah, you it's fucking like, asshole? Do you got, like, some weed you could be smoking or something? Like, you need I that. I don't shit. smoke weed. I only smoke crystal meth. But, yeah, but then after the fact, that's when Finn shows that he's stupid. You can't even come up with an excuse. To like, he's like just so yeah. like BB-8. Like, oh, well, yeah, remember sure, he hasn't sure. been thinking for himself for ever. You might <laughs> so be right on that. So it almost makes sense that he's an idiot. Like, yeah, he's scrambling around and like waddling around. He was a janitor. <laughs> he was a janitor as a slave. Yeah, so Whatever he wasn't even that was. good of a fucking stormtrooper because <laughs> apparently they show that he can't even kill people either, unless they're stormtroopers. He can kill. A, he has no remorse uh. for killing stormtroopers. But yeah, so he basically tells her, like, well, that's when they explain that they have the fucking map to Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And they have to fucking go to some dumb fucking planet in the middle of goddamn nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Because they don't even mention, some they don't system. even care. They don't even care. The Elderon Viridium cell, whatever fucking yeah, system. Yeah, we gotta go to the Cadillac fucking Hammerhead, or the, whatever the fuck it was called. And that, <laughs> that's when they get eaten by a giant Well, he's like, oh, she wants to go back to Jack Who. Yeah, and he's and like, he's like, what the fuck? And he says that a couple. Why can't times. we just fuck on the ship? What well, you got a cute boyfriend? Huh? huh boyfriend? Yeah. He's like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? He's like, why are you trying to go to Jack Who? We're trying to get the fuck away from Jack Who, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's borderline corny too, though. At the same time, Finn's pretty fucking corny. He's corny. Yeah, but he's uh, not yeah. the worst. I'll give it to him. Like honestly, Luke's pretty fucking corny. Yeah, but Luke was like... Anakin's like, corny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but Luke was like... I could fuck with Luke's corniness, though. Yeah, but Anakin's... Finn's just, like, forcing the corniness. Yeah, but like, Anakin's, like, fucking sand line. I don't like sand. Yeah, he doesn't rough. like sand. Because it feels rough in vaginas. Yeah. And uh, that's when Han sucks their ship in. Yeah, they get... He's like, uh, he's like an old man that, like, gets their, like shitty, rusty fucking car with no wheels on it. And he's like, oh, yeah, man, it's got my old car back. And I knew him. I knew Luke. I knew what he did to my son. 
and I'm getting him back. So like, who the fuck did you get this from? He's like, I don't fucking know. He's like, all right, well, you tell them that Han Solo's got the Millennium Falcon back. He's like, why would I go back and tell them, you asshole? Yeah. And uh, uh, at this point, the I mean, the movie's sort of breezing by. It's like it's easy on the eyes. Yeah, because this is when they fucking have the... Um... They explain all what's going on to Han Solo. So he knows what's going on now. He's like, oh, all right. Uh, well, I got some fucking monsters from 1991 and a fucking some crack in the back. I got to hide it from these fucking Viet Cong and these Scottish men. Yeah, yeah they have Scottish <laughs> death gang and some fucking Mongolian warriors. <laughs> the yeah, they pulled that? out a Dynasty warrior straight up. Straight up. The, the one guy's uh, from like the Raid Red or some shit. He looked like that guy. They were the Guavian Club and the Cannabis Club. I think one of there's some shit like that. The Guavian, the Guavian Club. Yeah, yeah and then it, shit he, just causes... It is the Guavian. One, it is the Guavian. I don't know which one's the Asian clan. And through but. trying to help them, Ray fucking releases all <laughs> an the... An Anakin move. An Anakin move, yeah. Fucks everything up in trying to help. And releases... Because she thinks she knows better. Like, oh, well, if I like, try this, it'll do that. <laughs> right? right? Like, and, maybe well, it'll she, just... <laughs> she dicks around with junk ships, I guess. But yeah, That's they true. released some weird, like, those little sticky balls you used to throw at your window. It looked like so. some Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, so. no, it was terrible. It, it, was, looked, it was terrible. It was um, Tentacruel from fucking Pokemon. Or not Tentacruel. The fucking... What is that little ball of tentacles in Pokemon called? I don't know. Yeah, it looked like that, but gay. And, and also, like, the acting was kind of whack in that. Like, when Finn got pulled, she's like, Finn! Yeah, Finn! Like, Are you fucking kidding me? I was just trying to leave. <laughs> it's because his fat, his fucking wide ass hips, he couldn't fucking outrun yeah, the monster. He could as though. Fuck. Um, and Chewie's a bitch as they're escaping. He gets shot. He's oh, like, Arr! I and do like, like how Han runs, punches a dude, and then throws him. At he the punches thing. the fuck out of that. Yeah, dude. but it was like, dude, when you it was watch like an it, old man, it's like yeah. an old fucking like nineteen fifties fucking movie punch. It's like Ugh. that makes it raw though. It was an old cowboy punch, right? Um, and at this point, the ginger and um, Kylo Ren are having their discussion with apparently now Snoke, this giant projection, right? Who we're supposed to know and care about? Yeah, it looks f- like he went through like a car crash in Fast and Furious. He's all fucked up, and he's like, "Oh, I don't like this. I am the ultimate rapist." Yeah, and they're like, "Someone and- was awoken in the Force. <laughs> we touched." Penises together mentally, and Kyle Ren's like, "All we need is her." He's right? like, "Oh yeah, I know like who that. that is." Yeah, he's like, "He's like, oh yeah, and Han Solo's my dad." Like, just just throw that out there real quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and I guess that's Darth Sidious like because they're trying to completely copy New Hope. I guess that's like <laughs> Darth Sidious, and everyone's scared of this projection. But then um, again, cutaway scene. Because yeah. all these fucking snub scenes are cutaway scenes because then they jump back to the real fucking story where it shows their hyperdrive almost explode because this is just a series of fucking uh, Ray doing things that are awesome. I and Han now, and, and Solo's so strung out at his age now that he's just like, all right, I'll listen to this like 16-year-old chick. She apparently knows what she's talking about. Yeah, she's like, all <laughs> I had to do was rip this piece of your, piece of your ship off and he's like... Okay, okay. All right, like, yeah. I'm, I'm not, don't expect thank you, bitch. What the fuck? Yeah, he's like, you and just broke my shit. At this point, Finn's like trying to save Chewie, and he's like, dude, that villain's been killed like six times. And Chewie's like, bitch, you want me to kill you again? Yeah. And, uh. <laughs> That's yeah. true, though. He's like, <laughs> Chewie looks at him yeah. and he's like, he's like, okay, it's not that fucking bad, I guess. Fuck, this guy is an asshole. Um, Chewie's a dick. Yeah, he's telling you. He doesn't care about life. And that's when you see, like, Ray, she, like, explains herself. She's like, yeah, I'm just a scavenger, but this black guy is part of the resistance. Yeah, and then they have to talk First about... First I was after him for his dick, now I'm after him for this resistance shit. Well, then they have I to talk about Luke, right? Yeah. And then fucking... So they go over everyone's backstory. Mm-hmm. And then it's fucking... <laughs> no, they pull up the map. Well, yeah, to, but ch- to Han first. Han's like, it's right. all real now. Yes, right. It's all real to me. I've done enough years of meth and Budweiser. I'm good. <laughs> Jedi's do exist. The Force do exist. He's, like, he's mumbo jumbo. I finally believe in it. That mumbo jumbo bullshit. He's a dick. And he's uh, slouching the whole time. Huh? He's slouching the whole time. Yeah. Well, because he's a drunk. In real life and in fucking Star Wars. <laughs> that inspired his character because he was drunk on set. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so they show up, and she's like, oh, I didn't know there was this much green. They got that terrible stress weed out in the sand. Me and fucking Luke know what that's about. And Han Solo and looks like, at her, he's like, 
all right. <laughs> he just sort of shrugs it off. He's like, okay, what the fuck? You drown crazy? another Budweiser, bitch. <laughs> like, you're crazy, bitch. Hey, Chewy, get that dingleberry out of your fucking ass. This shit was <laughs> terrible. Uh, and uh, Finn's like, hey, bro, what's good, Solo? Han's like, calm that shit again. I swear to God, I'll have Chewy backhand you. And when he backhands you, he fucking kills motherfuckers. Right? Say that shit again to me, Reading Rainbow, you piece of shit. <laughs> and he and, looks at Ray and he's like, hey, here's a gun. <laughs> She's like, why? And he's like, because I think you can need, you, you'll need one. Yeah. You're, you're good. He doesn't and tell her. She was her like, how oh, I can it. defend myself. He's like, with what, bitch? Your fucking you, hair? Yeah, you got a stick? You think a stick's going to work out here? This is the streets. And then yeah. we meet the extra uh, Asian lady. Oh, right? yeah, the, Maz. Who the pretty- grandma at the fucking Kinsei. Oh, yes. Oh, you. Hmm, yes, where's my boyfriend, the Wookiee? I wanted to suck his hairy penis. Right. <laughs> she didn't say that. Well, she didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and she like calls. She's like, if you look closely, you see the same eyes twice, and you'll know what their other life is. Bro, what and was she's the just music? like, I'm gonna say all that, but then not even really call you out. Right. She doesn't even fucking like really say anything that bad about him or revealing. And he gets heated. He's like, bitch, you better back the fuck up. He's like, you don't know knock me. Knock one of those eyes out. Yeah, what's up with the and, reggae music they were playing? I don't know. That shit went hard. And all while all this is going on, you see this like mobster fat weird creature thing and his weird fucking bitch that is a normal girl, yeah. I guess. In a robot. And they're the ones that Okay. So here's my thing. Now they know people are looking for the droid. And they bring it out in public. You don't leave it in the ship with Chewie. Yeah, because you know? they're idiots. Fucking retarded. That's all it is. It's retarded. I mean, that really makes no fucking sense regarding the fact that everything counts on this droid. Because apparently the force, like as said in old movies, is stronger than a technological advancement that can destroy planets. Well, yeah. So apparently. That, uh, well, apparently it is because that's how they fucking blow up this next planet. It's yeah. just some semblance of the force, I guess. Sorry. They didn't even... <laughs> Fucking, they, <laughs> they didn't even bother to explain that one. They didn't even use the force in this to blow yeah. up the planet. Not like Luke, who just had to close his eyes for a second and be like, oh, I'm going to jizz real quick. But no, not only do they get fucking called out, they get called out twice by two different people in the bar. Who's the other person? A little robot. <laughs> There's a little robot. Oh, that yeah, that's in. right. So they get blurped twice. Yeah, it's super hot for them to be out with BB-8. And all the while, Ren is having his fucking weird spiritual spiritual panic attack and talking shit to himself like, oh, my God. Darth Vader, show Darth me Vader, the vision. The way. No, what so, I- they, they, so Star Wars needs Darth Vader so bad. They have to show this ancient artifact, decrepit Darth Vader mask. Well, my right? question. Um, and, and, and then they talk about, like, the Asian lady's like, oh, we need to fight. We, we don't know what we're doing, but we need to just fight them. We need to stop this, guys. Stop the First Order from taking over. Oh, well, yeah. And he Finn's seen like, well, before. bitch, like, I've seen, I've actually seen this shit. I've been through the war. I've been in the streets. Like, I've seen all that shit. We're not going to beat them. They're going to clap all of us. He's a coward, <laughs> though. Yeah. That is, and then, that's sort of his whole character development. With that he's a coward. No, is that like, he's like, I can't, I'm too much of a coward to kill innocent people. But I'm not going to save innocent people either. I'm just getting the fuck out of it. Well, yeah, because he's a bitch, too. But then Ray starts hearing fucking the voice of the Force, I guess. Well, at first she has a she almost has a breakdown that Finn's leaving. And yeah. Finn's so much of a coward, even though he's been simping on this bitch the whole time, like choosing up on her. He's gonna. He's so much of a coward that he's like, okay, fuck you then. I'm still out of here. Yeah, he tells like, that fat alien. He's like, yo, wait up for me. I'm going to fucking go After she pleads with him, like crying to him, like just stay. Like he yeah. didn't have to leave. He no. still could have like. Well, he doesn't want to die. That was his whole reason for escaping to begin with was to leave. <laughs> That's true. And like, he tries to get her to go with him. It's like, dude, what do you like? I mean, you, you get the implication if she goes with you that like you're trying to fuck her. Yeah. She's kind of clearly shown she doesn't want to fuck me. Like, That's true. She's not ready for that. She might fucking alien, but not a black guy. No. <laughs> Her parents would never allow that. Uh, and, um, yeah, then you get this whole, like, Mad Max scene. This, like, dream scene. Well, right? yeah. The, the shit's calling her, and you see BB-4 roll down the stairs, and it just is like, why the fuck do you have that thing rolling down the stairs? 
It's making this moment it's look annoying. stupid. Yeah. And then uh, so she sees like Anakin fucking like fisting R C D two, right? <laughs> And she sees uh, some other shit from her past where she's getting molested by the guy who sold her rations. And then Maz tries to tell her, she's like, dude, there's no one coming back for you. And she's like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going home. Fisting our dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. What? Yeah, but that was some Mad Max shit. Though. Yeah. Like, cause you're like, what the fuck just happened right there? What was that? You just tried to give us 30 million clues at once, and it probably just gave away the whole plot about her. Essentially, yeah. I didn't pay yeah. attention enough for that. Well, you just have to assume she's... a goddamn on one. Well, Ma says that she's like, the last person who had this was fucking Luke Skywalker, and the person before that was Anakin. She's like, you keep it on one. She's like, I am Filipino. I don't touch the lightsaber. <laughs> That's right. And then yeah. she's like, I can And can't... I can say that, by the way. So I will mention, I can say whatever the fuck I want, because I am part Filipino. <laughs> now, that then... being said... Each one of them runs away respectively. Well, no, they showed Ren kill somebody with that was with Ray before she was left. That's right. That that's thing. right. Um, so, you, like I said, you start thinking. For me, I start thinking: Is Luke her father? Is she a reincarnation? Because to me, that's the only two fucking conclusions I'm coming up with. Well, she doesn't. That she was made up of midi chlorians like Anakin in a resurrection form. What if Disney's just that much of a dick that where they're like, "Yeah, we're not making this a Star Wars story." Fuck. Yeah, they you. just created something completely new. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I thought the whole point of Star Wars stories like something to do with a Skywalker. It is. Always. Kylo Ren's a Skywalker. Right? So they don't need her to be a Skywalker. I guess. She could just be. I think she's some form of Skywalker. Um, and the Asian lady that they say, well, they don't, we're calling her Asian because of her very, very small eyes and very small stature. And yeah, she basically just the way tells she them, speaks. She tells them to give um, up. She, yeah. On her parents. She's like, no one's coming back. Yeah. It's over. Don't, don't even. And fucking. She's the Yoda. Yeah. Of this of series. Of this one. Did yeah. she die? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I don't think they. She just gave Finn the lightsaber and she's like, hey, go get your ass kicked yeah, with this. Yeah, that's what she does. It's his ass um, fucking handed to him. And uh, Ray, being sort of an asshole that she is, if she is a Skywalker, just runs away. Well, they all run she away. She just runs... No, she runs her own way. No, that's what I'm saying. They as all shit goes down. run their respective ways. Like, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> like, Chewie and Han was doing his own shit. Finn's like, wait, what the fuck happened? I, oh, I was going to go to the outer realm. I said, fuck everybody anyways. All right. That's so. when you get the... Oh, Nazi. here's the lightsaber. Oh, yeah. Let me get my ass kicked by one stormtrooper who had a fucking electric that's hammer on? from Halo 2, whatever the fuck that yeah. thing is. That's when you get the Nazi uh, speech, though, is right oh after God. fucking she runs away. The ginger man has a crazy Yeah, Hitler he goes moment. dumb, and he just basically says, like, we're the first order! We're gonna blow up everybody! And, um, they blow up a planet. Like a system of planets. Yeah, he, like, that shit was dope. apart and hits hella. And Kyle Ren's, like, jacking off in his shit, too. He's like, yeah. Um, and so they go after the droid and Ray. Him, his company. Kylo Ren's company. Um, God damn, distraction after distraction in this fucking shit. This is getting ridiculous. Fucking cops. We live near old people and all that shit, so old people die. I know. Firemen come and shit happens. And that's sort of the story of Star Wars. (laughs) Just old people die and firemen come. They they can't put out the ships in time, so fat pilots die. Uh, So they all show up and, like, her running away, uh, all the stormtroopers are attacking this... Citadel. Well, I like how she <laughs> comes. Like a Citadel. Yeah, I like how and she comes back in the middle of it, though. Like she after doesn't come back. Well, no, she's running back from the forest. Yeah, and she sees like the middle of the battle. Yeah, not like the beginning of it. Shit's already been fucked up. And she realizes she's like, oh, I got a yopper, and I can actually shoot. Well, she she just starts re- killing motherfuckers. She doesn't remember to the safety off though. She's like, oh shit, safety. Such a Skywalker move. Well, yeah, because they're idiots. Um, she's got the yopper though, apparently. And like I said, Finn is just giving, like, she's, the lady's just like, here, here's the lightsaber. Go get your ass kicked, please. Well, yeah, he's like, I don't have a weapon. (laughs) And she's like, you have a weapon right there. And he, like, does the corniest lightsaber grab. He's like, he's like, oh, shit. I need a weapon. You have one. Yeah. How's my ass look with this? He's like, this is cooler than my old pimp cane. (laughs) And, uh. They finally use Chewie's weapon to the full advantage, and that shit looks raw as fuck. Yeah, blowing people the fuck up, blowing armor out. Yeah, and the resistance showing up was dope. All the action there was pretty raw. They yeah. just blast the 
fuck out of stormtroopers. Well, they yeah, dude. Stormtroopers they, get fucking blasted in this scene. They got fucked up, and even when they fucking get captured, like they're just walking around, and stormtroopers get fucking blasted. And yeah, that's how they get freed. Is just ships blasting stormtroopers now. And then that's when Ren finds her, right? Yeah. And of course, nothing to do with the bot now. The bot has been left alone for three straight fucking scenes. Yeah. Because he doesn't he care. Away. He gets it. He gets yeah. that she's, like, powerful in the Force somehow. Somehow yeah. he got it. That yeah. was her. Yeah. I didn't get well, it. Well, apparently he's that raw. I mean, because if he's that good in the Force, we could just stop people and shit. I yeah. mean, I think you're top tier level when well, you're doing shit like I'm that. That's what I'm wondering, dude. So if... Because when, when they said it was a girl, Rin was like, what do you mean a girl? Like, he sort of knew just off saying it was a girl. So does there, like, some weird Skywalker fucking skeletons in the closet? There's a lot of skeletons in the closet for Kylo Ren. Yeah, and he just knows. I'll tell you what. I think he's been fighting his sexuality his whole life. Well, he looks like he wants to rape his cousin there when he fucking does eventually fucking start fighting her. It's like yeah, he totally gets a rapist vibe. Yeah. Because he's a Skywalker. And I think the only one that wasn't really rapey was Luke, but even then, he wasn't rapey, but he was thirsty for his own sister. That's what I'm saying. a hologram. So is Kylo Ren thirsty for his own cousin or whoever the fuck she is to him? She was was looking kind of hot. She is kind of hot, and he looks like a fucking dweeb. <laughs> he looks like he was on the oblongs, and he sounds like, like the guy from No Country with old, from with old, ah No Country for Old Men. He's like, "Can you help me, father?" Yeah, 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 he does. <laughs> and like Finn's choosing up on her, like because Ren, like, like you know, she sort of just gives up. Yeah. When he's at her, she's like, oh, like shooting, like he's hoping she'll stop it. And he just fucks her up. And yeah, do like, he, he, force he, he, like you said, he, he grabs her as if he's going to rape her in a Wait. ship. He's like, I'm just going to carry her off into my ship and rape her. Well, that's the new force Finn's thing. Like, no, I'll drop my one weapon I need where I can maybe shoot him if I'm 30 feet away. But I'm just going to drop it and run after her. And hopefully I can, hopefully I'm athletic enough because I've shown you guys in this movie I'm athletic enough to jump on a ship, right? Like I'll get her. Yeah, he's not a Jedi. <laughs> and so is he a like, Jedi? will you fucking stop? Like yeah, he looks at him. He's like, "She's gone, bro." Han Solo's kind of warning him the whole way, like trying to help him get some pussy because he was like, "Dude, like God. all women find out the truth. Like, why do you keep trying to lie to her? She knows you're a fucking piece of shit scumbag." And this, th- that's true. Like, I don't get that. And then, well, of course. Oh God! This is where the movie starts oh, to fall God. apart. Oh God! I don't Leia. even really want to talk about it. R.I.P. Like, Leia shows up and makes the movie worse. I'm well, sorry. Her and C-3PO. Come on. Yeah. You can't hit me with two shitty characters at the same I time. I like C-3PO. I like a him lot too, more than but Leia. not in this movie. Uh, he's still a dickhead. Well, he's yeah, talking he shit. He's like mm, princesses that cunt. Knew yeah. she was always one. Tired of working for a bitch ass anyway. He also punches fucking R2 at the end. Right. Like gets heated at him and smacks him. And, of course, you know, they have the meeting between the ever-so-long-awaiting scene of Han Solo talking to Leia. And it's just exposition of shit that happened the last 20 years, and it sucked. He's like, There was no connection. There was no sort of, like, oh, man, I'm feeling for these two parents right now. No, it, was it was both boring. like, look, you guys are both clearly alcoholics at one point in your life. And she's like, I'm trying to talk, but I can't. It's hard to hold it together. And... Uh, <laughs> After all this neurological damage. And I, I, it was so bad, I didn't want to even write. I just wrote in my notes, Han talking to Leia about Ben shit. He's like, I saw a boy. He's like, oh, we ha- I saw my boy. And you know what? He looked even gayer than when we gave him to Luke. That's why I didn't fucking... That's why I denounced him. Yeah, and then... This is what I like. And Leia's like... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... He's like, we should have never sent him to Luke. Like, I knew once that boy touching Jedi fucking came into his life, we were going to lose him. And she was like, well, that was my brother. we wanted to send him on the weekend so we could do heroin together and fuck each other. And, like, Uh, so it's like, it was just whack. I was was so, and then, and then, um, they're basically saying, like, the map is phony. And conveniently, what do we need? R2-D2. They're saying the map is not right. We need fucking R2-D2, right? Yep, and they go So they him. somehow... Let, let's go over this. They've reprised the New Hope in this whole plot, and they went so far as to include R2 as a pinnacle part of this plot. Yeah. So they had to buttfuck us with two droids needing information. Ex- wow. <laughs> well, yeah. Wow. And then, 
Like, right before that, <laughs> Finn and Poe, like, meet back. And he's like, hey, man, what happened to you? He's like, bro, I got shot out. And he's like, oh, sick, Yeah, man. he's like, yeah, man, I like, got kicked out of the Mark Twain story once I started saying the N-word. He's like, bro, I didn't think of that because you were just, like, a janitor as a stormtrooper, but you finished my mission. Cool. Right? <laughs> and Finn's like, bro, where have you been? Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I almost fucking starved and dehydrated myself to death. He's like, oh, my I'm, bad, bro. I just like, like, oh, yeah, shot man, out of my like, shit. Yeah, fucking yeah. I floated in the air for a while. They just picked me up, and I was like, hey, man, I just had a nice meatball sandwich, and I just hopped in my cockpit, and I fucking started shooting up some goddamn <laughs> Polynesians. Oh, they're not Polynesians anymore. They're fucking slaves. Oh, yeah, you were one of those slaves. Uh, man. What's up, Finn? Uh, yeah, great. so in, um, then they did more talking about Ren. How, well, yeah. Oh God! Just rape us with exposition, don't you? Just yeah, rape just us more, and it's then just, it shifts. Snoke over. seduced him. Uh, too much Vader in him. Uh, we'll do it in our own way. Like, oh my God! Like, he's like, I know when you see me, you, you see him every time. Listen to me, will you? I know every time you, every time you look at me, you're reminded of him. You think I want to forget him? I want him back. There's nothing more we could have done. There's too much Vader in him. That's why I wanted him to train with Luke. That I just never should have sent him away. That's when I lost him. That's when I lost you both. We both had to deal with it in our own way. I went back to the only thing I was ever any good at. We both did. We lost our son. Forever. No. It was Snoke. He seduced our son to the dark side. But we can still save him. Me. You. If Luke couldn't reach him, how could I? Luke is a Jedi. You're his father. There's still light in him. I know it. Well, they use... It's like... They use the next scene for exposition, too. Cause what? It's the fucking... Oh, when he takes his mask off? Yeah. Oh, God. But at least that was interesting. At least they left it ambiguous enough to where the dialogue was like, okay, is he talking about some deep-ass shit? Because he was talking about, like, who's Han Solo, huh? No, he's mm-hmm. like, Han, you th- consider Han Solo his father, huh? That old man dick? He would have disappointed you. <laughs> Oh shit! Can yeah, stop that's taking... too much. That, I might have to quit talking about that scene after that. Can he stop taking his mouth mask off? Yeah. Now? Well, he does the first time he took it off. That's what I'm saying. Can he stop? It, it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. You, ha- I don't give a fuck who you are or that how much you bad. like Star Wars or even this actor. And I refuse to even look him up because he looks so whack as a jet as a Sith, right? Um, and what's funny is he's an actual priest in that fucking. Um, yeah. New movie. Uh, oh, fuck. What's that new movie called? With uh, the director that does all the gangster movies in the 90s and shit. I know what you're talking about, but I have no clue what the name Martin is. Martin Scorsese. Yeah. He's a priest. <laughs> well, so, something weird about this dude picking those roles. But, yeah, so he's um, just so much. It's just, I guess that was cool with him and Ray. I guess that was cool. It got a little rapey. It got a little, no, 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 no. Because, like, remember, he was, like, forcing her, and then she was forcing him back, and they forced each other and just forced each other up their ass. Well, yeah, and, and he just... gets nothing. Yeah. And that's when the redheaded dude starts hating on him, too. Yeah, well, because he thinks that, I didn't need the droid. I just get the map out of her because I'm that real. Yeah, because he's like, yo, well, where's the droid? He's like, well, oops. <laughs> yeah, right? And then so fucking. She called him out on his fear, too. She's like, yeah, I can sense the fear in the fucking period you have going, you little <clears> bitch. <throat> And then fucking, uh, they talk to Snoke, right? Snoop Dogg? Snoke. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, yeah, and old, his mouth Snoop becomes Dogg, yeah. a fucking butthole in this scene. I forget what he says. Oh, those dudes' teeth are fucked up. Kylo Ren's up. teeth are fucked up. Yeah. Just keep the mask on, dude. The mask was dope. We even forgave your glittery robe. Your glittery robe for your fucking mask. And then you just made it extra. Now you just look like you should have been a goddamn um, little fucking Richard movie. <laughs> right, a it's Richard pretty. Music video. It's pretty it's, uh, bad, but then I mean, <laughs> it's like, what else are they gonna do with that character? Like, it's it's they're trying to make him like, I guess, look like fucking Darth Vader. 
and Anakin at the same time. Yeah, but how do you with make the that feathered hair cool? You know, how do you I don't know. That? It's hard to say. It's that's hard well, that's to say. That's why I think he was a little more like, uh, I guess you would say, like, t- mm, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess you would say he's a little more like droll yeah. than Anakin, like not super emotional, even though his little pussy fits that he has on the control panels, his tantrums. <laughs> but like when he talks, he's like, you could tell something consumed him. As opposed to Anakin, who's just like a whiny bitch forever. Well, Anakin is a whiny bitch for forever. Yeah, because Darth Vader was a whiny bitch. Um, and so, yeah, and so he, he left her locked up. He left Rey locked up as he couldn't get the shit. And Well, she she figures out how to use the Force magically. Yeah. And she convinces Well, because Snoke tells, her, tells him to go get her, right? Yeah. That's what happens. Like, yeah. Go and so she figure out what's going on because he's like, look, she knows what's good with the force. She just doesn't. She hasn't been trained in it, right? Yeah. But then she she escapes because she figures it out somehow. How to do that? And she, How to do a Jedi mind trick? Yeah. Yeah. Which is like heats Kylo off because he destroys the chair. She just basically figured out how to concentrate. <laughs> Exactly. What she does? She was a homeless scavenger on she, fucking with ADD. She doesn't so. fully grasp that. At the end, that you have to concentrate to do a saber battle until, like, yeah. halfway through. That's when he gets, like, heated that she leaves and fucking, like, destroys the chair. Yeah. Like a baby. She's like, yeah, you will eat my pussy and leave. And then cut away Stunter's again. Like, sure. <laughs> right? And cut away again to them talking about the planet now. And he literally says, he's like, well, you know, we did, like, the Death Star before. He's like, can we figure that out? And he's like, yeah, yeah sure. So much sucked out of this scene, bro. Literally, like, they just, just from Han Solo alone, because Han Solo didn't give a fuck. He was just like, "Oh yeah, dude. Well, we'll we can blow it up. Uh, yeah, we can shoot that thing." And the Japanese guy's like, "Oh, uh, Formula uh, Two Ninety Four Square Root Eighty Four is oscillation." And, yeah. Uh, Do you know it's an X Men also? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. He's like, "Oh, Spike." <laughs> and uh, so w- while that's going on. Finn's just like, oh, yeah, dude, I'll lead us through. I was like, He's fucking... like, I know how to do it. Yeah. And fucking Han Solo's like, well, you know, I'd have, if I had to tell you how we were going to get there, you wouldn't like it because it's dangerous. Mm. And she's like, well, I'd like it if there was heroin involved. He's like, well, you'd all like it if heroin was involved. He's like, that's why I always left because I knew you'd want it more. <laughs> so, yeah, so they come up with some tomfoolery to fucking destroy Tom the Fullery, oscillator. They don't even tell Finn <laughs> until they're in the middle of it, too, because it just cuts to them flying in the Millennium Falcon, right? Yeah. And he's just like, bro, how are we going to get in there? There's a shield around there. He's like, well, it turns out shield doesn't work if you're going at light speed. He's like, wait, what? And he's like, hold on a sec. I got to turn light speed off real quick. And they're fucking flying through the planet, like crashing into shit. Right? Like, gives no one any fucking heads up. So I guess... Like, how did they all get not not like not get knocked out? And that to me, where this is all feels formulaic. Let's split people up. We'll send the real heroes to go destroy the shield, and then the pilots will go in and they'll destroy the epicenter of the Death Star. Yeah, it's like so. It's the same fucking thing. (laughs) And this time, they actually really didn't give a fuck as they were planning it because they were like, like I said, it was like a fuck you to us as the Star Wars viewers. They're like, dude, you guys know what's gonna happen. There's a big ball. A guy's going to fly into the pimple and destroy it <laughs> while the heroes go take the shields down. And there might be some Jedi shit in the middle of it. So there you go. Movie. Clap. Like. Well, that's, bye. Right? Essentially, <laughs> yeah, because when you look at their plan, he's like, okay, well, what are we going to do? He's like, I-, I don't fucking know. I was the janitor. He's like, let's use the force. He's like, that's not how it fucking works, you idiot. So they You're run a fucking in. janitor? Yeah. I'm a drug dealer. At least I was never a janitor. They run in, they shoot a couple dudes, and he's like, wait a minute. I've got an idea of who could help us out. And they capture fucking the silver shiny uh, lesbian <laughs> uh, soldier. And they're like, yeah. he's literally he's like, I'm going to blow this fucking... So does he have the force? Does he use the force? No, he's just... Because he just thought of it on the spot. That's what the force what is I'm all saying. about. Maybe just he knows... feeling things and you can think of it. Yeah, maybe he knows the living force and not like the theory of the force. You know, like he just gets yeah. guiding his way through life. Like, and he literally like, they're, they're going to fucking murder her. Because yeah. he's like, what are we going to do with her now that we've interrogated her? He's like, you got a trash compactor? 
you know, maybe. Uh, and then the way Finn responds, he's like, "Oh yeah, we do, man. Yeah. I used to smoke pot there on my breaks, bro." He's like, "We never set it up that like I wanted to kill her, but yeah, <laughs> let's kill her." Yeah, fuck that bitch. Yeah, actually, she's the whole reason why I was even able to get out because she didn't follow up with her shit. But yeah, um, and they went on a false hope. As usual. Yeah, and so they turn it off. Like, the no, I'm just up. saying them getting there was a false hope. Finn lied to everyone. Well, I don't think he lied. I think he was just like, yeah, I can help you out. And then they get there and he's like, oh, yeah, maybe this is a bit above my league. He's like, I thought this well, was going to be easier. He, no. Why I don't would think he lie anything. himself back into the Because he wanted base. to get Ray. He's a simp. That's true. He's all he about that, that pussy. Because he does tell her that. He's like, yo. Um, like, uh, <laughs> he's like, I'm just doing this for her. Right. I don't care about your mission. And they're just nonchalantly walking through the Death Star, which apparently is so technologically advanced to destroy planets, but there's no surveillance cameras. Well, they got like Even though clearly shown in video games and maybe sh- other movies, there are surveillance it's cameras. It's shown in this movie, in Han's ship, that there are surveillance yeah. cameras. That's how she cuts the tentacles off the thing. Right? I don't so know. No I, one's I, paying attention because they're all getting high on pretty- some <laughs> fucking Polynesian grass skirt. Right, like what is like seriously? I just I I don't get it because they're they're nonchalantly walking through. Yeah, like they're tip to, they're Scooby Dooing around. They are. It literally is, and they bump into each other eventually. Well, they bumped into the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> That's right. And Freddie Five and, Fingers helped them out. Yeah, and Curly <laughs> helped them Curly. out. Curly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, yeah, no, they literally bump into each other. They're both Scooby Dooing around, and they bump into each other. Like, oh shit, we were looking for you. Yeah. Okay. And Ray's like, and Finn was like, dude, just to let you know, so I can get some pussy points here, uh, they were all going to leave you to death. I lied to everybody and risked the whole race of people that we have to save you. And she's like, oh, really? I'm so not going to suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, so that was weird. And um, then they decide to go use more bombs. Well, they just were, find the base. Well, yeah, they're like, when we got a fuck, it's like, there's a base over there. We got a fuck a load of bombs. Why not, guys? It's almost worse than Suicide Squad. <laughs> the convenience of this and the ending is almost worse than Suicide okay, Squad. Okay, the convenience of it is that their bombs, not to jump too far ahead, but just to knock this out. Now no, they, we're at that part. Their bombs don't do shit, and the dude flies his plane in and blows it up. That's, That's after, like, Ren's like, Han Solo. I'm not saying my dad or yeah. my father. It's like, Fuck maybe ass. you can help me, Han and Solo. <laughs> Well, and Snoke sort of like tells him, like, dude, I didn't, I didn't get that at first when I first watched the movie, but after like the ninth time, I get that Snoke was like, yo, like, are you ready to handle your shit when you come across your dad? Are you gonna murder that motherfucker or what? Yeah, well, Han wants him to come home. Yeah, he's like, my boy, hey Ben, come boy, on, Ben, come on, boy. And there's uh, hella stormtroopers just standing there, like watching this awkward father and son moment. Yeah, right. So is Chewbacca. And fucking eventually Finn and, and What's-Her-Face show up to cast the ominous fucking lighting onto their, you know, meeting. Right. It's, it was a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it was a bunch of ex, like him being like, just come home. I want The convenience. Home. He's like, I can't come home because you never let me play my music at the volume I wanted to. And you just tell me to cut my hair and I didn't get to wear black all the time. Right. He's like, well, first I just, I didn't, I denounced you as my son because you look like that. He's like, you're but sort of But now that you got that fruit. mask, like. Take it off. Let me see your face. Oh, yeah, that's right. You still look like still, a fucking homosexual. Yeah, you're still an asshole. He's like, can you yeah. help me, father? And all this, the sun is being drained, and that's when they have to stop it, which I guess is better than the meth crystals from the lightsabers. He's like, There's the more, sun, like, you know. tension to it. Well, yeah, and then he gets uh, fucking yopped. He played his own dad. He yops him. He stabs Kills his him. own dad. Yeah. So I guess that was cool, except for, like, the bug eye look that Han Solo gives him and that and the homoerotic touch, on the face, touch. Yeah. which is the second time that someone's died and touched someone's face in this movie. Right. Which is weird. And and fucking Chewbacca loses his shit. That's right. That's how deep they roll together, because he shoots Kylo and actually fucking gets him. Yeah, he does. And then just murders, like, 15 stormtroopers and yeah. blows the fuck out of that building. Because he's a cranky old man. You fucking, you don't kill a cranky old man's only old man friend. <laughs> Right, because now like, he's gonna go into a depression. Now he's and now die. he has to hope that he can like touch Ray at night. Because <laughs> he true. was like, because Han was like, "Hey, Ray, uh, Chewbacca kind of likes you." <laughs> Jesus. And uh, yes, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, we got so mad that Chewbacca is now touching a girl. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so then it comes to this fight in the se- the snow, which he's like which, punching his which chest, which hints at a lot of things, right? So he's hurt, right? Let's go over this. He's hurt. Finn 
picks up the lightsaber and apparently can like take him one on one for a while. A little bit. He he injures him, I think. Now is that just natural, or is that just luck? Well, maybe he has combat training. I don't know, because that one With a sword? That he got his ass whooped by a stormtrooper. Yeah, with a baton, so maybe he sort of knew how to do it. I don't Maybe know. when he was a kid, he used to pretend to be a Jedi. He just would swing sticks around. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I think he's how a Jedi. How do they recruit these slaves, too? That's the good question. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I mean, how do they recruit these motherfuckers? Are they, like, getting them from birth? It's what it sounds like. He's like, So yeah, how do they know? They don't. So they just take you? Yeah. They're like, that no matter seems how pretty tall goddamn or ineffective. fucking athletic you are, we're just going to take you. And, um, yeah, so that was a weird, like, that was weird because he, like, I don't know, if, was Kylo Ren knowing he wasn't trying to kill Rey? Because, I mean, he threw her up in the tree pretty fucking high and fucked her up. Yeah. No, I and think fucked he... Finn up. Oh, he like hits him in the spine with a yeah. lightsaber, but that's and when he fine, and public. Okay, let's speak about that. Finally, showing where a a gimmicky lightsaber actually came to use. Yeah, right. Because as he's, he's like, like burning his fucking fin, yeah with his shoulder, shoulder. as they're yeah. attached at the lightsaber. So that's pretty cool, actually. Now that I think about that, that's actually really cool. Then Ray fucking uses the force to get the lightsaber back. Yeah, and we see oh shit. So she's got some sort some semen went in her mother. And that's when Poe goes dumb. Poe. Oh, yeah. He, he starts just, fucking, well, with his Filipino fucking. Yeah. That dude's clearly a Filipino. That dude it, was he, clearly a Filipino at the end, yes. That's your clear Bay Area Filipino, just in a nutshell. And he's like, I like to look up my uncle. You go by uncle. And with his big ass lips and he's slobbering all over himself. Yeah, they're all getting shot around. And that's what fucking I'm saying. Standing like, up while he's eating at a buffet. They've lost, <laughs> like, half of their shit, and they Man. fucking, like, they're still blowing pilots up. It's like, that's what Star Wars is, just one pilot who's important and one who's, like, semi-important, and they live, and the rest yeah. of them can go fuck I wanted to themselves. check out who that Asian girl was, though. She was kind of hot. Well, the guy from Heroes couldn't die, because he had to film fucking he- the new Heroes season, so, of course, that's going to fuck. And he was fat. He was the only fat pilot to not die. Yeah. That was sort of cool, I guess, for him. Um... But yeah, so he blows the fucking. He does like some weird fucking go into the vagina slit and blew the. Well, base it's the up. same tunnel as New Hope. It's the same shit. It is. Form Formulaic. He just goes and that, spins the in one a word. If you had the one word to describe the movie statement, for me, it's formulaic. Well, yeah, this movie is form you lay. Think about the next scene is like this lightsaber battle, right? Yeah. And fuck well, between Kylo and Rey. Which was I, I will say this to anybody, I hated it. Yeah. I thought it looked whack what as is fuck. She, it looks terrible. They cut down some trees, and then she has to meditate for a second to continue fighting. Well, because he, I mean, I guess that makes sense. He's not trying to kill her at that point. I feel like he's trying to manipulate her into joining the dark side. Yeah. So I mean. And this is where it's pretty much just, like, she she fights him and she, like, yops his throat and his face up. Yeah. And then it's, like, like every Star Wars movie just sort of fucking bumbles down. It's like, oh, we blew the planet up. Let's fly away. Let's go have a celebration. Right. Right? And it's like, okay, well, that was super anticlimactic. Fucking, they blew it up. Yoo-hoo. They, we knew they were going to do that. That's, like, and that's when Snopes, like, it's time to complete his training. Right? He's like, I'm going to touch him a little more. It'll make him more powerful. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's, I mean, and that's pretty much exactly what happened. And, like, but we're, I'm just wondering, I know the planet was falling apart, but the ground splits perfectly after Finn's got his ass whooped and yeah, to save Kylo Ren got his ass yeah, whooped that and was she's just stupid. standing there, like, fingering herself. How did the, any of them have enough time to get off of there? And how did the planet blow up to being the sun again? I don't know. It was stupid. Some things are just not meant to be known. Um, and then, so, yeah, so she saves him, and, oh, yay, the day is saved, We right? got our map. We come back, and fucking Leia still seems out of place, man. Yeah. Like, she just seems like, it's like, come on, dude. He's like, like really? no one wants to hear your shit, Leia. <laughs> um, and now uh, Ray's looking extra hot after, like, a fucking shower, finally, through the whole movie. Yeah. Her one shower, and she kisses Finn's forehead, and you see his boner come between the <laughs> pop on the fucking camera. And that's when uh, she uh, is like, you know what? I'm going to go pursue my destiny. 
which is some Batman begin shit. To go to the she like, takes over the Millennium Falcon. Chewie's like, yeah, yeah, I'm right. Jerk off Chewie's at night just now. like, okay, well, I guess I'll follow this bitch now. And um, she climbs hella steps, and she finds Luke who is smoking his fucking bowl of he meth. He looks on strung the, the yeah. fuck out, bro. <laughs> He looks and, strong the fuck And, of out. course, we have to have this two-minute-long scene of her holding his fucking dildo next to him. Lightsaber spinning in a circle. And then it fucking ends. Yeah, right. And that's, like, it leaves you sitting there feeling, like, sort of like, dude, did I just get duped there at the end? I don't know. I feel like I got duped by the whole movie a little bit. I think I did. Because it's not that great. It's just well done. Yeah. It's extremely well done in cinematography. Yeah. Cinem- Especially the cinematography. Cinematographic. Especially, like, I guess. Who gives a shit? But it's really good cinematography, yes. Yeah. And I think it tricks you. Yeah. And I think because the characters are fun and um, it's Star Wars and it's continuing the Star Wars story. Yeah. That you get lost in the f- really realizing that, okay, the plot of this particular movie might be whack as fuck and formulaic and done and boring and repetitive. <laughs> it's true, though. Um, And like I said, also, so much action, so much shit cutscenes going on, especially when they start introducing Han Solo and the Resistance and all that, that it sort of takes away from where it started. And yeah, too but many will Snope cutscenes, too many Kylo Ren cutscenes. Yeah, but what I will give it is that Finn and Rey, like, they at least stay consistent with those two. Yeah, those the, the, for the most part, yeah, and like Han Solo, when he does come in, is sort of cool. Yeah. And the Chewie's like fucking Chewie, I guess. Yeah. Just a character. And C3PO sort of ruins it for me. Yeah. The R2D2 ruins it for me. Lay and Han Solo sucked yeah, each other. Because Han Solo was me. cool without her. That was like, terrible. You, were, you fucked with Han Solo without her. Yeah. Involved. But it was just rehash. It was yeah. all just rehash. Like Death Star number two, Han Solo number two, fucking Lay number two. <laughs> Let's just do this again. Darth Vader number two. Right. Luke Skywalker fucking female version. Exactly. Exact same Which thing. I guess he was a female. So. Well, like I said, a mixture of Phantom Menace. There was a little bit of Anakin and a little bit of Luke. Exactly. Um, She kind of was a pothead and she kind of did look like she should have had a bowl. But head. I mean, you know, seven's not bad. The like 7.2 isn't bad. 7.2. I give it a so, seven. That's a recommendation. Like we do with all of our episodes or... <laughs> Well, especially the new ones. <laughs> Specifically. The new, new series and new episodes. We're going to go over our list at the end. Um, to find all these other episodes, just subscribe on iTunes. Fucking subscribe. I didn't. Subscribe. I don't think I said in the beginning this time. Fucking subscribe. It'll update you with your shit. Have your shit download automatically, too. Yeah. Download our shit automatically. You don't even got to fucking listen if you don't like us. You're stopping cunts. <laughs> and uh, fucking review us or rate us <laughs> if you want. I guess. Right. You can even say whatever the fuck in the comments. Say, hey, Tim's, you're a fucking idiot and a Jew. Just tickle and our hey, butthole. And hey, Anthony, stop yeah. saying shit about Filipinos, even though I am one. All right? Jesus. Uh, say whatever you want. You can also find us on Stitcher and SoundCloud, which I don't think I said in the beginning. Also, follow us on SoundCloud. You can message us on SoundCloud. Um, what the fuck? You're not at school, bro. Bell's not about to ring. Like, hmm? The bell's not about to fucking ring, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? You acting like a goddamn the bell's about to ring. We're trying to get out of here. Uh, no, but seriously, I don't know what the fuck is going on with the firemen around here. There's sirens. A lot of again? old people dying apparently. Jesus. Um, yeah, Stitcher and SoundCloud, and you can also if you follow us on Twitter and uh, follow our Facebook page, you can get all of our updates of the schedules, and we put our episodes on there too. So all the links are there. All the links are in the descriptions. They're all fucking there. Click on it. Download. Subscribe. <laughs> you got that? Everyone yeah. got that? <laughs> Everyone better they fucking get it. Don't know by now. Then they and should. we're order of opinion, by the way. Yeah, just in case. Order of opinion. All right? Now, for the list of the Star Wars universe, uh, number seven for me was Attack of the Clones. With a three point six, um, and that's episode twenty five. Yes, twenty five. Give me that fucking look. Twenty five, and I give all points to that to the Polynesians, every single one of them. Uh, number six was the Phantom Menace with a four point and personally, I think that that's a whacker movie in Attack of the Clones. But like I said, which would you rather watch? Ask yourself that question. 
Neither. <laughs> Number five was uh, A New Hope with a 6.2. That is episode 27. Uh, and number four was The Force Awakens with a 7.2, uh, and that was number four on my list. So what's the irrelevant co-host list? Uh, so for number uh, seven, I gave it to a Phantom Menace with a three, because I just... The movie fucking sucks. This is Tim, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently I need to have a name. Um, my number uh, six is Attack of the Clones with a four. That fucking it was about how many semen they took to make all those clones. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because they looked pretty fucking dumb. Fire! Fire! <laughs> um, <laughs> my number five was uh, New Hope with the 6.5, and then my number three was Force Awakens with the 7. Yeah, so like I said, check all that shit out. Subscribe, motherfuckers, and that's my. Old. <laughs>